When it comes to the conversation for who the greatest player in football history is, a name you will almost always hear at the top of many people's list is no other than Lionel Messi. A culmination of talent that we have never really seen before and most likely never see again. Whenever he touches or dribbles a ball, there's just an aura of amazingness whenever you watch. Even among other legends and football greats, he just seems to be a little different. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raymar, back again for another video, and today, we're gonna see just what exactly makes Lionel Messi a little different. Official records state that Messi was born on June 24, 1987 in Argentina. But how much of this is true? Was he really born on this day, or was this the day his spaceship landed in the South American country? Okay, but on a serious note, Lionel Messi was far from your average child. Messi comes from an extremely football-centered family. He would play with his older brothers and cousins as soon as he could walk and, before he could even speak, developed a passion for the game. At only 6 years old, Messi would nearly score 500 goals playing for his youth club Newell's Old Boys. This was when he would develop his iconic celebration of pointing up to the sky, which is said to be a tribute to his late grandmother Celia who would always follow him to matches and training. Others, however, have said that he points up to the sky to remind us where he's from, but I'll leave the speculation to you. However, at the age of 10, Messi was diagnosed with a rather peculiar medical condition known as growth hormone deficiency. Messi was severely undersized as a kid, but that never stopped him. He wanted to be like his childhood idol, Ronaldo, who he's once called the best forward I've ever seen. His treatments would cost his family roughly a thousand dollars a month. This was when he was scouted by Barcelona who believed that, despite his size and medical condition, had unparalleled talent. They were willing to bet it all and did everything they could to treat his unusual medical condition and the rest is history. Now, if you haven't realized already, I don't actually believe that Lionel Messi is an alien, but he holds some incredibly insane records that almost makes it seem like he came from the planet of the football gods. Now, we all know that Messi is easily one of the most prolific goal scorers in football history. But in 2012, Messi scored a ridiculous 91 goals in a single calendar year, breaking the previous record of 85 goals set in 1972 by Jared Muller. The incredible part about this is that he did so in only 69 matches, which is a mind-blowing 1.32 goals per game ratio guaranteeing that he'll score at least one goal every game. This performance has earned him a Guinness World Record which most likely will not be broken anytime soon. Another insane record is that Lionel Messi has the most consecutive Ballon d'Or wins with four consecutive awards from 2009 to 2012. He's also the youngest player to ever do it at the age of 25, which for context was seven years younger than Michael Jordan when he won his fourth NBA MVP title. With Messi's only competition in those numbers being Cristiano Ronaldo, as the pair have won it for a record five times each. And do you remember the controversial 2018 Ballon d'Or where Messi placed fifth? He and Ronaldo have won it so many times, it's almost as if the people voting for the award were tired of constantly seeing those two on top and just wanted to see someone else win for once. And the scary thing is, Messi has a few more years to earn it'll be beaten by anyone anytime soon either, or ever for that fact. Much to the surprise of a very few individuals, Messi is also the all-time leading goal scorer in La Liga history with 419 goals in 451 appearances. A ridiculous stat as his goal scoring ratio for the league is .93 goals a game, with only Cristiano Ronaldo being the only one who's had a higher ratio with 1.07 goals a game in La Liga. But in terms of goals scored in the league, this record doesn't look like it'll ever be broken by another player just because of the sheer amount of time Messi has spent in La Liga. Alright, by now, it's possible that maybe some of you haven't been fully convinced yet. You might be saying, well, all those achievements and records don't really prove anything. However, the next case of evidence we're gonna look at is Messi's ability to control the ball. Now, to the untrained eye, you might be thinking Messi is a tremendously skilled dribbler. 
After all, how can he still have the ball going up against multiple defenders at a time, yet the ball almost never leaves his feet? Ancient astro football physicists believe that this is due to Lionel Messi having some sort of alien form of magnetism. The ball will just always stay close to Messi and he can seemingly control it at will, effortlessly weaving through opponents, absolutely embarrassing defenders, and even making goalkeepers fall on their behinds. The crazy part about this is that he doesn't even have to use any fancy skills, breaking all the laws of football physics. Just a simple touch and then he takes off, leaving the opposition defense in the dust. This brings me to my next point, Messi's speed. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you would know that Messi is one of the quickest footballers ever. Not only is his top speed impressive, his ability to stop in an instant and immediately switch directions with amazing lateral speed is what makes him such an elusive player to defend. Where Messi's overall speed is really highlighted, however, is his sprint while dribbling the ball and equally maintaining his control and touch, something that I personally believe no other footballer who has ever lived has been better at. Just imagine him playing in the defensively lacking era of the 1970s, then people would seriously be questioning if he was really from Earth or not. Given his seemingly small build, Messi is always criticized for his lack of effort and always gets the blame placed on him whenever his club or country fails to win. However, even as a Cristiano Ronaldo fan myself, I think this is completely uncalled for. Firstly, Messi puts in a tremendous amount of effort every time he steps onto the pitch, so much so that he will put himself on the brink of complete exhaustion to do whatever it takes to win. You almost never see much of Messi falling despite the physical contact he gets while going up against defenders, or even trying to flop unlike some certain players, <coughs> Neymar, <coughs> he'll even get off the ground and try to continue his dribble if he has to. Messi will also exert so much stamina at some matches that you'll see him throw Growing up on the do that can just give you an idea of how hard Messi is pushing himself. If you still aren't convinced, Mario Balotelli of all people has also made claims that suggests Messi's extraterrestrial origins as he stated, and I quote, Messi is an alien. Neymar, on the other hand, has suggested something similar to this by saying that he himself is the best player on earth. Yeah, he really did say this. However, it's not a sign of disrespect as he stated that he believes both Messi and Ronaldo are from another planet. But before we go any further, I've partnered up to bring you guys a special 7-day trial for ESPN+, Plus, a platform where you can go access and stream Serie A, Premier League, FA Cup, MLS, European qualifications, Copa America, and much more football content live in HD anytime and in any device. You can replay games and programs whenever you'd like or even check out some other stuff like college sports, NHL, basketball, or rugby. You can cancel anytime you want before the 7 days are up, but if you decide that the content is awesome and you want to stream even more sports, then it's just $4.99 a month which is an amazing deal. So if you're interested, go ahead and click the very first link on top of the description to sign up and download ESPN Plus free for 7 days. Each and every one of you guys trying it out, even if you decide to cancel, is really helping support this channel and allows me to continue making these videos. But anyways, that's gonna do it for me today guys, I hope you did enjoy and didn't take the title of this video too literally. Thank you all again for watching and continuing to support this channel, even though I don't upload a lot because I'm not a full-time YouTuber yet, but I'll try my very best, so if you guys have any video ideas, go ahead and leave a comment and I just might make a video on it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.